You like camping? I love camping. Camper special. What we've got here is a 1973 Chevrolet C20, and it's a camper special. So this was specifically built to hold a camper in the rear, and that's what they advertise it as. It's running on some Keystones from the 90s, which look amazing, and it has a newer set of uh, Firestone tires. If you want to find out full information on this specific vehicle or any of our inventory, be sure to look below, click on the link. It'll give you a full description, ability for transport, the whole nine yards. In the meantime, be sure to click like and subscribe so we can give you more content like this. As I look at the profile of this truck, it just screams America, which is great and I love it. This uh, paint quality and the actual condition of the vehicle, I'd rate it a seven out of 10. So it has had paint work, but it shows really well. The Keystone wheels really set this truck off. And then you have all these really nice badges. So we get over to the rear, you're gonna have this, uh, the camper special, which is signature to, the, to this model. You see the camper, basically like a TP. And this has an 82, this has an 8200 gross vehicle weight. So that means the capacity that this can hold, including the truck, the chassis, you guys inside, and a camper here. That doesn't include a trailer. So that's, a, that's impressive. That's why it has eight lug wheels as well. Underneath this specific truck, it's extremely clean and there is no rust at all. Bumpers look nice. Front end, extremely inviting. And then it looks like someone has touched up all of the badging with the orange, which is what it would look like back then. I mean, this thing shows really well. When you look at the pass or the driver's side as well, it's, it's clean. I see a little bit of imperfections by the fuel fill and a couple of other little marks and touch-ups, but it's solid. All right, I'm gonna open up the hood now. Got yourself a 350 here, uh, four barrel. It did have factory AC and it's not hooked up. If you guys wanna get that thing working, we can bring it to Kell Auto Air and we can build it into the price point. But it does have power steering, power brakes, and it's extremely detailed and clean. Brand new heavy duty radiator, and it's not like a cheap radiator. This is 350 bucks, and then we had to make a shroud for it as well. So if you guys do decide to tow with it, you're gonna have a, you know, a nice brand new radiator. It was leaking before. Continuing on the driver's side, it's beautiful. I see a little bit of imperfections here and by the rock guards. It does have mud flaps, exhaust is nice, it's dual exhaust. When you open up the cab, extremely clean and extremely 70s. So you've got that velour style interior seating, original GM seat belts, the steering wheel is in excellent condition, and it has all the trinkets you would think of having in the 70s. You got yourself a CB radio, you've got your brake control for a trailer, uh, voltage gauge, which is always on, so you can always monitor your voltage, and all of the actual gauges on the dash do operate. You even have a temperature gauge here. This thing is like a Tesla. Let's go ahead and go to the rear. I'll leave the door open. Okay, we're gonna close the door. Rear tailgate is really nice. I do see a couple of dimples. I love the chrome bumper on this. So this is an aftermarket chrome bumper and it's super long, very beautiful. I'm gonna open up the tailgate. Tailgate's nice. You do see a little bit of imperfections, but what I like about this, this did have a camper on it. So there was never any junk getting thrown in. So there's a couple of dimples just on the fenders themselves, but the actual bed doesn't have marring or dents. So it's a prime candidate to do a line X and it would look really, really nice. Let me close it. And look at that, the hinges. Some serious stuff right there. You can firm. Locks nicely. No, maybe not. There we go. Got your big Chevrolet emblem right here. And then we're finishing off to the passenger side where we started. Very nice with minor imperfections just from when they had the actual RV or the, the camper here. You can see that there's some marks probably from where they had the straps going down to hold on to it. You do have a spare tire holder as well. And then I want you to come underneath it here. I don't know if you noticed, but we also have a gas tank here because it has two gas tanks. And when you look underneath, it's extremely nice and dry. There's one tank and the other tank's over there. New exhaust. Drive line's nice. It does have an oil leak, so it does have a rear main seal leak. I would say that 75 to 80% of these trucks that are being sold right now at this age have an oil leak. Passenger side looks great. I love the door cards. 
And look at the dash as well, the insignia right there, camper special. Let me start it up right now. Let me get past you. All right, so we're gonna turn the key. It's running right now. Starts right up. Super smooth. I, I said it has dual exhaust. It does not have dual exhaust. It's a single exit exhaust. My bad. But it sounds good. Let's go ahead and go for a ride. It does have a heavy duty axle in the rear if you look back there. That's for the added weight. Jump in. All right, so we've got our vintage CB radio here and it looks like it's lit up and it does work, but I don't have an antenna, so you're not gonna get any signal. Let me turn the radio off. Radio does work, it has a single speaker behind the driver's seat. Here's your fuel tank swap. I don't know if uh, it's actually working. I don't see the difference in the fuel gauge, but I'll test that by driving it on one tank and we'll see what happens. So you've got everything you ever need here. Oil pressure is at 50 PSI right now. Temperature is rising, it's about 120 degrees. This is if you have your emergency brake on, and it is charging. Also, you have a secondary charger, or secondary gauge for the voltage, and it's right here, and you can see that it's charging very well at 14.4, which is nice. There's also an additional clock here, in case you don't know the time. You have a nice glove box with the original owner's manual and some documentation and receipts, especially, uh, I think I saw a receipt for the Keystone wheels in there. You have an American flag. That's all you got to say on that one. All right, let's take it out for a ride. Let's see if the wipers work. Ooh, they work. Smooth. All this thing needs is a gun rack, and it's like perfect. America! Yeah, that's right. Are you going to go or no? Yeah. All right, let's test her out. Oh, she's a speed demon. Woo! Hot tamale, baby. It's actually pretty peppy for how big it is. We got to 47 miles per hour, and it rides really nice, so it's super smooth. Suspension feels good. It's not too bouncy, uh, and you do have a long bed, which is great. So say you had a motorcycle business, this would be a cool truck to get, and then you put the lift gate in the back, so this would be like vintage for you to go pick up your, your client's bikes. It's super reliable. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, it's driving great. Let's see how the brakes are. Brakes feel like a modern car, no issues. You just touch it with your toes. Um, we'll turn right here and then we'll get some outside shots. If you guys have any questions about this specific car, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Also, if you want to get a shipping quote, we can ship this all over the continental United States along with overseas. If you guys want to get a shipping quote, transport under our website. It's so quiet. I mean, the exhaust is, its you don't even hear it running. Told you, Tesla. We're gonna turn left here. Um, overall impressions, this thing is definitely turnkey for someone that wants to drive it, jump in it, and have fun. I am very impressed. For a 1973 C20, this is a good one. So give us a call, 954-363-2261. We're gonna get some outside shots now. Let you guys decide on if this is the right truck for you.